Hello and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. Right now we've got the Alabama State Hornets, 4-6 and six on the season, traveling to take on the 7-4 Jacksonville Dolphins. Now the Hornets have had a rough go of it so far, uh, heading into their final game of the season. But head coach Marvin Joseph for the Dolphins says Alabama State is a team with a lot of experience and they're going to have to be on their toes about how we play them. Now, of course, the Alabama State Hornets, 44 players on their roster, 23 of them are seniors. They don't have a lot of depth, so it's going to be a rough game for them, I think. I got Jacksonville winning this one by a lot. I just think they have a lot of depth and speed compared to Alabama State. And here they go, starting off on fire with Mr. Highlight. Nice completion over the middle for the first down. Hines to throw it again, stays patient in the pocket, rolls out left side, and connects with Highlight again. Juking inside the 30-yard line. Highlight now with 46 receptions this year and 1,200 yards. Play action from Hines. Deep shot inside the 10-yard line. Christian Hart, his first catch of the game. That'll be his 24th this year. Hines to throw again. Marshall is wide open, and he fights his way in for the touchdown. His fourth on the year, his 18th catch. And he is over 400 yards receiving. So many weapons for this school. Three wide receivers, a tight end, Jukes McGee, Michael Hines. They're just, there's so many weapons. And don't, don't forget about Tyler Matthews at fullback. But here is Mangum, the wide receiver, returning the kickoff all the way for six. And they're going to tie this thing up. So just like that, we're all tied up at seven. Hornets on to kick off. And here is Mr. Highlight from the two-yard line. He's going to take it up the left sideline, up past midfield, past the kicker, and Mr. Highlight is going to walk into the end zone, high step in his way for his first career kick return for a touchdown. Now, he also does have three punt returns for touchdowns this season. Just a beast. And here is Reed. He is going to be gone. Oh, my goodness. Four plays in a row, just four touchdowns. What a throw. Stayed in the pocket, wide open in between the safeties. And Deshaun Harris, the wide receiver slash corner, did not stand a chance. So it's 14-14. Three minutes played in the first quarter so far. As Hines lost it up to Jukes McGee. He lays out for the reception. His 17th on the year. Hines to throw it again. He's going to scramble out left side. He's got highlight wide open inside the 20, and he accelerates past the safety for the touchdown. That is his 10th touchdown reception this year. 21-14, Hornets, third down and one. Stevens, left side wide open is Webb. What a hit by Malik Bean. It's a monstrous collision at the 24-yard line. Play action from Stevens. Marcus Pedersen comes through for the sack, his third of the year, and his ninth tackle for a loss. He was unblocked. The quarterback never saw him. Second down at 27 after a holding penalty. Hornets way back near midfield. Going to loft it up, and it's picked off by Marcus Pedersen. That's his ninth this year. My goodness. Slightly overthrown ball. Probably should have been caught anyway, but it looked like the receiver just misjudged where it was. And here's a play action from Hines. He finds Christian Hart for the first down up at the 36-yard line. Third down and three. Hines, pump fakes, rolls left side, lofts it up. It's tipped away, almost picked off. Fourth down and three, they're going to go for it. Hines, going to roll out left side again. Takes off. He's not going to get the first down. He's going to fumble it, too. And it's recovered by Williamson. And he's going to break a tackle and get up to the 40-yard line. So he forces the fumble and recovers it. Either way, the Dolphins were not getting that first down. So huge play for Alabama State as they look to tie things up. Play action from Stevens. Left side, wide open is Morrow, the tight end. And Malik Bean levels him. Bean, known for big hits this season. And that is pretty much his forte. And here's a nice completion to read over the middle. A lot of just amazing throws by this quarterback right now. And Reed is going to get in the end zone to tie this thing up at 21 all. And it just looks like we're never going to get out of the first half, guys. Hopefully you guys know how to put up a tent, because we might be here a while. 
Hines rolling out, takes a deep shot right side, highlights open, he's got it inside the 35 yard line. He is such a great route runner and very good at catching passes. Hines hit as he throws, connects with Christian Hart for the score. Touchdown, Dolphins. And that will be Christian Hart's eighth touchdown reception this season. I'm stuck in there and got absolutely destroyed. But what a throw. 28-21 now, still here in the first half. Pass right side, picked off. Deshaun Harris jukes a man out. Deshaun Harris has his first career interception and pick six. What a play for the receiver. Been waiting for that all year. And we still have more than half of the second quarter left to play. Here's Reed up the middle, jukes a man out, still going. Pedersen tracks him down finally. That's a 17-yard pickup. Hornets now fourth and three. Stevens on the 33-yard line. Incomplete pass. So Jacksonville takes over on offense. Toss play. McGee follows Tyler Matthews. Matthews seals the safety, and Jukes McGee is gone for the touchdown. His sixth rushing touchdown this season. And he is now over 800 rushing yards for the year. He's definitely come on strong late this season. Had a fantastic game last week catching the ball. He doubled his total receptions on the season with eight. Hornets punting the ball away here on fourth and five with 53 seconds remaining in the first half. Mr. Highlight back at the 35, 36 yard line. Highlight gonna run right side and there is not a man in sight. Wow, and he's gonna disrespect him walking, literally walking into the end zone. 62-yard punt return for a score. That's his second return for a touchdown this game. His third total touchdown. He had a receiving touchdown earlier in the game. Here's a fumble by Reed. Zane Williams forced it and recovered it with three seconds left on the clock here in the first half. It's just never going to end, guys. Never. What a hit for Zane Williams. And that is his third forced fumble and third recovered. As the Dolphins sent on the field goal unit, the kick is up and good, and they've got themselves the 50-burger here in the first half. 52-21 against the 4-6 and six Hornets, and here's a bad pass intercepted by Williamson. Slightly overthrown. Highlight on the tackle. Hornets, second down to nine. Stevens, left side, he's picked off. Allen Davidson's got it. Past the 20 and returns it up to the 27-yard line. Allen Davidson with his seventh interception this year. And look at this, he throws it right to him. Of course, Davidson did have to get up for that one as well. But just not a good throw from Stevens. And an even better play there by Allen Davidson. Jukes McGee has the carry, stuffed, breaks free. In the midfield, 40, the 30, 20, one man giving chase inside the 10, five, pushed out of bounds at the three yard line, what a play by Jukes McGee who's having himself a career day on the ground right now. Well over 100 rushing yards. It looked like he was bottled up at the 30 yard line, got loose into the secondary, and was finally tracked down, making it first and goal for the Dolphins. Now second to go from the one yard line. Play action, Hines rolling right, and he's gonna roll back left side. That's way too easy for Michael Ground Hines as he gets his 10th rushing touchdown on the season. That leads the team, by the way. And it's not even close. Next closest is eight. Tyler Matthews, the fullback. He also leads the team in rushing. Here's the Dolphins back on offense as the Hornets go three and out. Highlight juking a man out and running over a cornerback with authority. Highlight with a great game so far. Bunch of touchdowns, bunch of yards. And Hines is going to take off again here. Spins, breaks a tackle, showing some strength. Getting up to the 45-yard line. He now has 900-plus rushing yards on the season. That also leads the team. Hines wide open. Jake Elliott, this is the third-string halfback, and he's going to get into the end zone. Oh, my goodness. Wow. I don't even know what to say to that. That was just a crazy play, just running through the defense back there. Again, a great play from Michael Hines. He's Michael Air Hines on this play. And Elliott just, you know, weaves in and out of traffic in the secondary. And the Hornets go three and out. So we're going to see Hines and this offense back on the field. And Hines gets all the way up towards midfield with another great run in his young career. 
It is 66-21 right now, guys. As Jukes McGee, Jukes a man out, left side, in the open field, looking for the end zone, and he's got it again. What a game for Jukes McGee. The past two weeks, he has been lights out. Absolutely phenomenal. Let's take a look at that. Juke moved the corner, about fell on his face. Looking like he was out on the ice skating rink. And Jukes McGee, my goodness. Hornets back on offense. We finally see them, and Pedersen's going to have his second sack of the ball game. Not a bad day for the strong safety. He has uh, four sacks now on the season. Webb, the backup quarterback, now in. He's going to be dropped by Walters, the non-subscriber middle linebacker. That's going to bring up fourth and 18. They're going to punt this football away as they're down 73-21. And look at this bounce right here. Highlights got it at the one-yard line. Runs right, runs it back left side, cuts back. He's running backwards now in the end zone, gets a block. If he gets taken down, it's a safety, but he finds the edge on the right side. Mr. Highlight is going to take this all the way. You've got to be kidding. You are ridiculous. What just happened? Oh, my goodness. Oh, no, there's a flag, and it's a clipping call on Adams. Oh, my goodness. Save that for a highlight reel, folks. It didn't count. But that was amazing. 73-21, Hines, hot running a receiver. He pump fakes, throws it out deep towards the middle of the field. Christian Hart is there, and Christian Hart will accelerate for a 100-yard touchdown reception. What? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Two crazy plays in a row here for the Dolphins. One didn't count. This one does. It's in the record books. A triple-digit touchdown pass from Michael Ayer Hines to Christian Hart, the tight end. His second touchdown of the game, that'll give him nine on the season. And Hines now has more touchdown passes than interceptions on the year. And that is absolutely fantastic considering how he started off with one touchdown and 11 picks on the year. And getting benched for a non-subscriber quarterback. He has come a long way. He has been just so great the past few weeks. And he's got his ball club up 80 to 21 as the third string quarterback is now in for the Hornets. Nice pass out to seven, past midfield. First down and 10. Play action, Griffith over the middle. Nice completion to Whitehead. He's got the first down and more up inside the 25 yard line. Spencer Griffith, third string quarterback, having a nice day so far here in the fourth quarter. Highlight player of the game, Williamson, player of the game for the Hornets. Fourth down and one, Morrow is gonna get the first down. Brought down by a space mask by Deshaun Harris. That'll give him a first down either way. Second and goal now from the seven yard line. Play action, Griffith. He's gonna be dropped for the sack. And that'll make a third down and goal from the 15 yard line. Play action, Griffith. He's gonna get sacked again. So the defense holds here at the final seconds. Tick off the clock. 80 to 21 is the final score here in Jacksonville, Florida. A lot of crazy plays today. Mr. Highlight, of course, balled out. He had a ridiculous punt return for a touchdown call back for a clipping penalty, which was followed up by a 100-yard touchdown pass to a tight end. I don't think we will ever see something like that again, the punt return or the 100-yard touchdown pass. I just don't think it will ever happen. Absolutely insane. Hope you guys enjoyed this game. I thoroughly enjoyed commentating on it. It was fantastic. 680 yards of offense today for the Dolphins. They improved to 8-4 on the season as they head out to take on the Tennessee State Tigers in a rematch for the SEC Championship game. Jacksonville, 1,010 total yards today. Wow. 52 points in the first half. They also put up 28 in the second half. Alabama State was shut out in the second half. 100 yard pass. <laughs> You'll never see it again, folks. Hines, 13 of 19, 404 yards, five touchdowns. He has 16 touchdowns now, 15 interceptions, and that is amazing considering he was one touchdown to 11 picks at one point this year. Jukes McGee, six carries, 204 yards, Two touchdowns. Wow. So the senior 
<laughs> players for Alabama State, you know, the experience they had was not enough to contain the beast that is Jacksonville's offense. And their defense played quite well as well. Highlight almost 150 yards on five catches. Christian Hart almost, I don't know, he did have 150 yards receiving. Wow. That'll give him over 650 on the year. Highlight, of course, has, let's see, he's got 1,300 receiving yards now on the season. Defense balling out. Allen Davidson, Deshaun Harris had a pick six today. Receiver scoring on defense. Just so many crazy plays in this game. And I don't think you'll ever see anything like some of these plays we've seen this year on any other YouTube channel in the world. Five sacks today for the defense, two for Pedersen. And Darren Walters, the middle linebacker, non-subscriber, had a sack as well. All the interceptions today were from subscriber players. Davidson now has seven. Pedersen with nine. So two players closing in on ten picks. Crazy stats. Three pass deflections for Williams. He also had a forced fumble and a fumble recovered. He's got 10 pass deflections now, three forced fumbles, and three recovered. Just to highlight a kick return for a touchdown and a punt return for a touchdown this, uh, in this game. That gives him five returns for touchdowns this season. Highlight, Hines, McGee, players of the game, Williamson, Reed, and Mangum for the Alabama State Hornets, who dropped a 4-7. and seven. Our next game, which will be out later on, Savannah State, number one in the country, hosting the Norfolk State Spartans. I'll see you guys with that one soon. Take it easy.